I worked there as an elevator operator the summers of 1957, 58, and 59. I was 18 years old in uh, 1957. Do you recall what your uniform looked like? Oh, black shiny shoes, dark green pants, and a short white jacket. And the only addition to that was when the Shriners had their convention there. We all had to wear little red fesses that nobody liked. I made $12 a day. I worked all three shifts at one time or other. It was, uh, I think, 8 to 4.30, 4.30 to midnight. When I wanted to relax a little bit, that midnight shift was fine because I could take along a book and I didn't read that when there were no customers at 3 in the morning. There was a summer theater at the hotel for a few years, and um, sometimes the um, stars of the, the, the show would be staying there. So the, probably the biggest name was Groucho Marx. Had him in my elevators a few times. Hans Conried was there. Anne Sheridan was there. There's a, a road show of uh, Music Man. Joan Weldon was there. She was Marion the Librarian. She had her little poodle, I think it was, and that was Robert, one of the bellboys. She used to walk Robert for Joan Weldon. I went to see Zero Mustel in Rhinoceros, which was a weird play. Zero Mustel changed into a rhinoceros right on stage. Were there any permanent guests at the hotel who you recall? Uh, president of Pabst Blue Ribbon it was Nathan Perlstein. He was a very quiet, modest man because every time he got on the elevator, he would say 13, and that was his floor. Now, from day one, I knew who he was, and I knew what floor he was, but he never assumed that anybody would just automatically know where he wanted to go. I think you said you remembered another permanent guest. Who was that? Uh, I don't remember his real first name, but everybody called him the Colonel. He was Colonel Yellowly. Nice man. Southern accent. The works. And he was very high up in uh, prohibition enforcement. He was the man that they were supposed to be afraid of. So he was living in retirement at the Edgewater. Uh, walked with a cane, a little unsteadily, but if a woman came on, uh, he would offer her his arm when they were leaving the elevator to make sure she got off safely, even though he needed the help more than she did. You said something about some unruly guests? Oh, they were not celebrities. They were just some partiers. Young people who had evidently had a very good time. Must have been five or six of them young men, young women, and they were very loud, and they were very funny, they thought. And they had confetti, and they were throwing it all over. So they wanted the 10th floor, and then they were poking me. These elevators were maybe not the fastest in the world, but they were the fastest at accelerating and decelerating. So I just pretended to forget they wanted the 10th floor, and we went by, and they said, we wanted 10, we wanted 10. So I went from high speed up to high speed down, and they all became very silent very quickly. What would you say made the Edgewater Beach Hotel distinctive or special? It was a destination point. 